game. Boise State hosting Colorado State on the hardwood. Two of the premier teams in the Mountain West Conference squaring off. The Broncos were without starting guard Emmanuel Acott for a third straight game, and it would prove costly. We'll get to that. The Broncos down by as many as 13 in the first half. Marcus Shaver Jr. up ahead of Tyson Dagenhart for the layup. Boise State now only down three. Max Rice with a career high 17 points today drills that three from Melba to tie things at 34 apiece. David Roddy's lone three of the game coming right here. Rams led it 39 37 at halftime. So to the second half we go. Marcus Shaver Jr. with the three ball from the corner. Boise State goes up a pair. Later, Max Rice going to follow his miss right here on the drive, and then he kicks it out eventually to Tyson Degenhart. Bullseye from triple. T. Deggy with 16 points. 4-4 four, four from three. Broncos up by five. Back and forth we go. Roddy with two of his game high 19 points. The Rams go back in front 62-61. Then with under 20 seconds to go, the Broncos need to tie it with a three. Does he do it again? He does. Big time bucket shave ties things. He had 17 today. All tied at 67. Eight seconds to go. Isaiah Stevens trying to be the hero for the Rams. Abu Kijab gets his hand on it, also takes contact, but no whistle called for a foul. We're going to have more on that in a moment. It would prove costly. This one would go to overtime, and the Rams would pull out a victory. The Broncos lose a heartbreaker, 77-74. I was proud of all these guys, the way they just, like, you know, they played heavy, heavy minutes tonight in a hot, high-possession game. It was really physical, and they just kept reaching deeper and deeper to to give us more. We're going to hang our heads for a little bit, but we know we got to bounce back Wednesday, and, and that's what a tournament team would do. So we just got to keep our head up and keep going. I don't remember when I've been more proud of a team. We're all disappointed that it ended the way it ended, and you know, it's a tough one, but there's not much more they could have done. It comes down to one, one, you know, one, or one play, really. Hey, here's a look at whatever the heck happened at the end of regulation. Clearly, there was some contact on Abu Kijab. He should have been going to the free throw line with a chance to win the game. Instead, the officials blew what they call an inadvertent whistle, which led to, well, an intentional loss for Boise State. Um, yeah, that was a tough way to not win the game, is what I'll say. I think initially, like, they thought it was out, and then they went to the monitors, and I think they changed it to an inadvertent whistle. And so whenever he blew his whistle, I think that's when they switched the clock to. So that's why we got 1.6 instead of like 0.5 or whatever.